Good evening, students, and welcome back to Epic Heroes University. Tonight's lecture will be focused around stigmata. We will discuss how they work, which heroes use specific types, and how you can take advantage of them in other ways. As always, the information in this video is based on my personal experience and my own philosophy of use. I am in no way saying these are the only configurations, and in fact, I challenge you to think outside the box to discover other possibilities. Let's first begin by discussing what role stigmata play in the game. Stigmata are comprised of two main functions. Their first function is to provide a raw stat boost to your hero. Their second function is to provide a set bonus once the hero has equipped enough of a particular stigmata to activate it. The requirements to activate the set bonus are simple. There is a four piece set bonus and a two piece set bonus. If we look at the stigmata screen, you will see in the upper left hand corner that both set bonuses have been activated. As well as if you look at the stigmatas themselves, there is a glowing effect that will be activated around each set of stigmata that also indicates that the set bonus has been activated. Another distinctive detail about stigmata is their directional nature. Each direction pertains to a different base stat. Stigmata that point to the bottom left will all have a crit base stat, while stigmata that point to the direct left will have an HP base stat. This is important to know because you may receive an item that allows you to choose which direction of stigmata that you want. It's my opinion putting extra thought into this decision in the early to mid game is important, especially if you are choosing between a six star stigmata because the direction you choose will correlate to the strengths of the hero that you are using. Ideally, you want to choose a base stat that coincides well with your hero, as six star stigmata will be extremely rare to you in the early game. The last stigmata detail we'll cover is the star system. Stigmatas are ranked between one and six stars. As you collect stigmata with higher star levels, the base stat that they provide will be increased. There will also be additional stats added to higher star level stigmata, and the benefits from the set bonus will also be increased. As far as enhancing stigmata, I'm only going to touch on this briefly as I plan to do another video discussing item enhancements and I plan on adding this section to that guide. But I will simply put it like this. It's my opinion that enhancing stigmata under three stars is not worth it. Yes, you can use the recycle station to decompose any unwanted stigmata just like you can with items, but you do lose the gold you invest into enhancement. So upgrading one to three stars just doesn't seem worth it to me. I would suggest that all enhancements be made at four star and above with six star taking priority. Now that I've covered the basics of Stigmata, let's take a look at some of my heroes and how I have them set up for my default fights. These setups are about 90% of what I use for most of my fights. The other 10% I spend experimenting and we'll cover that in the next section. The majority time in X War, my lineup consists of Rex, Toko, Laura, Kong, Cupan, and Thinker. Whilst for bosses, I tend to swap out Thinker for Ronin, and sometimes Houston and Sally come in. While I won't waste time showing you all of their setups, I'll show you at least the top three or four. Let's start by having a look at my main tank Rex. His stigmatic setup consists of four vitals and two zealots. If we look at the vital set bonus, at the beginning of every round, the wearer identifies a vital on each of up to four random enemies. The wearer's basic attack damage and main skill damage against a vital target will trigger it to deal 125% of the wearer's attack as bonus true damage and also heal the wearer for 200% of the wearer's attack. A side note about the vital, which will require you to spend a little bit of money to obtain, but if you don't mind spending a few dollars, they are well worth the purchase. As for the last two stigmata he has equipped, they are simply the Zealot stigmata, which increase his crit percent, which is a very good primary stat on Rex. 
Next, let's take a look at Toko. Toko is probably one of my favorite heroes in this game, and if you've ever seen her go off, you would know why. Um, while speaking about Toko, let's touch on something that I feel like should be disclaimered. If you click the guide, you'll see that the advice there is that you use four apocalypse and two judgment. While I'm sure that is not a bad setup, it's clearly not taken into consideration Toko's abilities and how they function. Toko's primary damage stems from her ability to chain a whole bunch of auto attacks. If we look at the set bonus that the stigmata I choose to use, Samurai, we'll see that it increases her chance to attack again after using a basic attack by 40%. This allows her to chain proc her attacks doing astronomical amounts of damage. So this is just like one example of how the game guides got it wrong. Another thing that I feel uh, they got wrong is the judgment uh, set recommendation when Toko's attack power is already pretty naturally high. I would suggest using either Zealot or Sin, whichever one you feel like is going to give you the most benefit in the end. Moving on now, let's take a look at my Laura. Laura is one of those champions that just does ridiculous amounts of skill damage. So any stigmata that helps boost her skill damage is going to be ideal. Right now, I have equipped four Apocalypse stigmata for the four set bonus. That provides me with an additional 50% twice of true damage, ignore which ignores the enemy's armor. And my two set bonus is annihilation which just increases her skill damage by a flat percentage i think ideally given the abilities that she uses and the fact that she doesn't really have the greatest auto attack these are the best stigmata for her and it's really kind of hard to experiment with uh stigmata for characters that are this you know one track so i still have done it but this is like kind of one of the exceptions to the rules where it's just like it's an obvious fit. The last hero I'll cover is Q-Pan because I wanted to at least get one support hero on this list. And typically I use the same setup on almost all the support heroes because they tend to die very quickly. So any chance I get to bring them back into the fight, I take. Um, the stigmata that I use in this situation are for redemption and two evolution. The redemption gives them a chance to resurrect from a fatal wound uh, on the next round and the evolution gives them a flat percentage HP boost to try to keep them alive longer. Um, it's pretty straightforward, no secrets here, but I do mess around with these stigmata a lot uh, depending on the circumstances that I find myself in. The last thing we'll cover guys is experimentation. I cannot stress enough how important it is to experiment with these different stigmata because the majority of this game is being stuck. It's only right that you spend some of that time trying to experiment to see if you have the tools available to you to progress through the situation you're currently in. It's not always going to end in a success, but when it does, it'll sure make you feel proud about the effort you put in to get through it yourself. Well students, that concludes today's lecture. I hope you found the information provided today useful. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Before we dismiss though, I would like to give a shout out to Nessie and Black Dragon over on the Epic Heroes Discord for giving me a bunch of great tips. Although I am a professor here at Epic Heroes University, I am not above learning. So I appreciate all the feedback that you two and the rest of the community gave me via the comments and also private messages. Your critiques do not fall on deaf ears. I hope you see some of the improvements in this video and I look forward to seeing your critiques again. If you like the quality of the video and the content that was provided, please hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification button so you can see when the next video is posted. I'm trying to work out being able to post daily, but currently I am educating myself on how to edit and cut videos, so that will probably be coming within the next few weeks. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Have a good night.